the holder of the scene. In any city, in any country, go to any movie theater you can get yourself into. Before you even attempt to try this holder, you must have retrieved the object from the holder of the lens first. Otherwise, you will only be able to enjoy the movie and the endless pain that this holder can bring. Once you enter the theater, Look around for any movie that you wish to see. It shouldn't matter. However, the gorier the movie is, the more likely the holder will be there. Once you find one you may enjoy, buy the ticket and enter. Make sure you will enjoy it, for this may be the only thing you can take enjoyment from in the visit. Enter the movie room. Once you do, immediately stop and put on the glasses. There should be one person in the theater that you cannot see when you put the glasses on. And when you take them off, he will reappear in the same position you first saw him in. If not, then have no fear. Nothing will happen and you can enjoy the movie in peace. Once you find the disappearing man in the theater, find a seat next to him. Watch the movie, and if possible, make light conversation with people sitting next to you, but not to the man. After a while of watching the movie, which could take some time, the man will say one of two things, deciding your fate. If he says, I don't know why I paid for this. Then you must tell him, because you thought it would be worth it. As did I. Pray that he takes condolence in your statement, for then your death will be swift and merciful. If not, then you are beyond hope. However, if he says to you, Pay close attention to this part. You must watch the screen. Pay attention to everything that is shown. Eventually, you will realize that you are seeing things never meant to be filmed. Demons of an inexplicable nature will begin to slaughter everyone on the screen. And things of a worse nature will appear. Things never meant to be birthed by beast or man. At odd intervals, the man will laugh. Laugh along with him, if you wish. You may be laughing out of insanity by now. If not, then the man will turn to you and say, Well, what did you think? You must respond to this in only one way. I could tell you, but you know what I think. What of you? The man will chuckle to himself, then nod. He will let you ask one question, as the other holders have. Refuse. This is only his trick, and his true desire, unlike most holders, is to help you see past the rest of the lies. He will give you another chance. Refuse again. He will laugh to himself, and then congratulate you on a good job. Only now may you ask the question, How can they be hidden while he sees? He will stop, and in a depressed tone, will tell you. He will tell you of every defense for every item, why these defenses were built, who they killed, and how. Do no motion in the direction of the man, besides a general nod of understanding. You may very well go insane, or worse, attempt to attack the man. However, if you manage to sit through the ordeal, you will be asked to leave by a member of the theater's staff. The man will excuse himself and leave, 
and you will be urged to as well. However, don't go just yet, but instead take the glasses again and look into the seat that the man was sitting in. You will see a small cloth suitable for cleaning glasses. Pick it up and leave. This cloth is object 498 of 538. Use it on the glasses to see the things that hold them together. To see anything else is a travesty.